Work on Australia's second largest hydroelectric scheme is three months ahead of schedule. The zero emissions Bogong power station in northeast Victoria will be online before summer 2009. Premier John Brumby and Energy and Resources Minister Peter Batchelor inspected progress at the Bogong Power Station today. The AGL plant will produce 140 megawatts of peak power and when running at full capacity will provide power for around 120,000 homes. Uh, we've got the sharpest energy demand curve anywhere in the world. Um, we use extraordinary amounts of power on hot summer afternoons after four o'clock, on cold winter afternoons after four o'clock. So we do need peaking power. Water used by the existing McKay Creek power station will be piped six kilometres to AGL's new underground Bogong plant where it will be recycled to generate more power then released back into the Alpine River system. The $230 million project is due to be completed by the end of 2009 but is already running around three months ahead of schedule. Mr Brumby says the project couldn't have gone ahead without the Victorian Renewable Energy Target to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 27 million tonnes. That Renewable Energy Target puts a premium in terms of renewable power, clean energy, green energy, and that's meant that this project uh, can achieve satisfactory rates of return. The project has created around 200 jobs and will have other spin-offs for the region. And interesting, locally, they've decided to use all of the rocks because of its very hard nature making local roads. Carly Gange, Wind News.